<laughs> okay. All right. What's going on with the Ravens, guys? You 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 tell me. What what what's going on here? So, um usually when our season ends, at most teams when the season ends, you know, you hear from players, you hear from coaches, you hear from GMs, owners, what have you, um and they just tell you, "Hey, this is what, you know, what happened. This is what we're going to be, you know, looking forward to in the offseason. This is and that." You know, this answer questions and, you know, you try to decipher if it means anything at all, you know. Um, and the Ravens, uh, for a while, you know, they do the state of the Ravens and, and Steve Ashadi would be pretty open with that. He hasn't done it, I think, like the last two, maybe three years. Um, but you still hear from Harbaugh and, and, you know, EDC, you hear from everybody about, you know, the moves that they plan on making the offseason. But this year, we haven't heard anything yet. And there are rumors that there could be some shakeup in the coaching staff. We know Wink Martindale could be interviewing for the Giants head coaching job. You know, uh, who was it? The director of player personnel, Joe, Joe Hortiz. Yeah. Uh, he's interviewing for the GM job. So it could be one of those things where they're just kind of waiting to see who's going to be here in the next week or so. Right. As these jobs get filled up before they address the media. But, you know, people are still wondering, like, what's the deal? It's a uh, weeks-long rock, paper, scissors tournament to figure out who has to tell everyone that Greg Roman is coming back. Well, that's that's the other thing, too, right? Because, you know, Wink isn't – I mean, look, I'm not a fan of Wink either. But Wink ain't the the one we want to know about. We want to know about Greg Roman. And they've been very hush-hush on Greg Mm -hmm. Roman. Um, So what do you guys think? You guys think Greg Roman's coming back? Uh, do you think he's still gone? Like, you think there's something else going on? Because, like, I, my mind has looked at it from all kinds of different uh, scenarios. It could be something where it's um, maybe maybe he is out and there's some internal struggle about who replaces him, right? Because that's, that's been my theory, too, because it's like, you know, we, we talk about T. Martin and Keith Williams. Who's, whose guys are they? Are they John Harbaugh guys or are they EDC guys? Right. And if it's one of those things where EDC is like, I want you to put my guy, one of my guys in that offensive coordinator spot and Harbaugh's like, I don't want your guy. I want to choose my own guy. That could be a problem. Right. That could be something that they're trying to work out right now. Um, or it's yeah. Hey, I'm trying to protect my guy, Greg Roman, because I'm bringing them back. And, you know, I know Ravens Locking will be happy about that. I know we're going to get a lot of questions from the media and all that stuff. And I'm going to stand behind them. Um, but you know, usually like they're, they're so stubborn. They, I mean, they don't care. Like they'll, they'll just say it right. Like they said it last year, like, look, he's staying like, I don't, I don't want to hear it. You yeah. know? So I, I don't know. I don't know. So you, what, what do you think? B? It's easy. It's easier to do that when you make the playoffs though. Yes. Yeah. You know, um, I think that, that like, I think the fact that you haven't heard anything at all would point to Greg's coming back. That, that's just the way that, that I feel about it. I think if he was going to be out, you'd hear that kind of leaking out and oh they're you know, they're they're trying to, you know, maybe get him to stay in a different role. They're they're waiting to, you know, have a mutual departure or whatever. But hey, this is the guy who's gonna probably be taking over for him. Cause I do think it'll be an internal uh promotion. But you know, just not hearing anything makes me think that, you know, they're trying to figure out the messaging for Greg Roman's coming back. Right. Um and uh, look you know, Greg Roman's, I don't think he's a very good offensive coordinator, but he's not the worst coach in the world. And, you know, we've said before on this show that if you just take care of the, you take care of business with the roster, you'll be fine. Yeah. So, you know, if you go out in the draft and a free agency and rebuild the O-line, the team will be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think for, for Ravens fans, that's where you should put your focus for right now. Uh, just kind of look around and see who you want on that O-line you know, the, the talk out there is already that Villanueva won't be back. You know, thank God. Um, but they're, they're going to need to replace right tackle. They're going to need probably to replace center. And they need to figure out their path forward at left guard. And that could be just, hey, you know, it's going to be one of the guys who's already there, like Ben Cleveland. Or it could be bringing somebody else in through free agency. But they have those three spots on the line that they, they need to need to settle. Right, right. Um. <sighs> Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I don't know what it means. I, I feel like it is a shakeup. I, I think if, if everybody was coming back, right? If, if this was just about Wink, they would just say, hey, you know, we could be losing him, right? He's interviewing or whatever. Cause that's happened before too, 
right? Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel like there there might be there might be some like something going on where not everybody's on the same page, right? I I, I feel like Greg Roman might be out, but they just don't know who's going to be the guy to replace him, right? And that you know you haven't heard about anybody being interviewed, you haven't even heard about Greg Roman be out be, being out yet. But I think there there's definitely some discussion going on. They just haven't settled it yet. That's why they keep pushing back uh, the state of the Ravens. I think if there was that kind of discord internally, you would hear. Yeah. You know, like somebody would be talking to the media. Like people, the teams like to get their side of the story out through the media and, and control it that way. Like if they were they were butting heads with Harbaugh, the team would we would know it about it. There, the team would want it out there that hey. You know, uh, John is fighting really hard for for Greg to stay, and we're telling him no. I mean, not in, not in those words, but you know, they they would want to get it out there and get the get the fans, you know, to reapply that pressure that 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 heat that was there for the end of the season of fire Greg Roman. Yeah, like they'd want to rile people up and and make it obvious that Greg has to go. So I don't think that there's there's anything going on internally like that. Um, I, like I said, I think it's them trying to, you know figure out the the messaging the pr of greg roman's coming back that could be it i mean it, it, it could be it um i i would be disappointed in that obviously but i wouldn't be surprised and and honestly look this is it for hardball if he doesn't win this year make no mistake about it there's not going to be oh if he doesn't win this year then he'll be on the hot seat no he'll be fired all right uh that's that that we keep point, pointing out to you guys every week uh, no quarterback and head coach combination has ever won a Super Bowl together if they haven't done it within the first five years. This is year five coming up. And don't think that this owner and this GM doesn't know that. Don't think that. And when he says, hey, the guys that I just failed with, I want them back. Right. Um, he understands that. Hey, if I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out with my guys. Cool. Right. You, you have faith in them and, and you know, you're going to ride with them to the end. I can respect that. Um, it's not a good idea. You don't have, you, I mean, like he hinders you. Greg Roman hinders you. Wink, you can, you can make it work with Wink. I, I think Wink is just more stubborn than anything. But Greg Roman is, he just can't do it. He's limited. Uh, yeah. But like B said, when you have bad coaching, and this is what we've been arguing with people online all week, when you have bad coaching, you don't you don't give them less to work with. You give them more talent to work with. So when we say, hey, they need more wide receiver help, you can't be like, oh, well, he's just going to squander it because he doesn't know how to draw passing concepts. That's why you need top talent that can do more with less. Right. Yeah. You want to go out there with DuVernay, Prochet. What you want to run? You want to run Sammy Watkins back out there? Come on, man. No, <laughs> well, yeah, you, you need guys. And this is what uh, Troy Aikman was talking about with the Cowboys as well. Right. Yeah. Uh, and how, you know, in, in the modern NFL, you know, all these teams are about scheme. They want to scheme guys open and everything when it's really not that complicated. You know, if you have guys who can win one on ones, just throw them the ball and they're going to win most yeah. of the time. Yeah. And and in Baltimore, if if that's the case, that Greg Roman comes back, you want them to have guys who can win one on one matchups so that when things you know don't go as planned with Greg Roman's offense, Lamar can find, you know, his guy. He can, you know, people complain about him throwing to Mark Andrews a lot, but Mark Andrews catches the ball a lot. Right. Yeah. You know, uh, when Lamar was out there in the first half of the season, Hollywood was playing pretty well. He was he was you know, reliable for Lamar. He's like, hey, you know, the, the the play's not going the way it went in practice, the way it's supposed to go. Let me find Hollywood. Let me find Mark, and we can still get this ball moving. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, if Greg is back, you need more guys like that. All right. Let's read a couple comments here. Mr. Yuri says, I hope they come out and say he got captured by ISIS or something. Oh, Jesus. That's not nice. <laughs> Uh, Kimberly Harmon says we need a black O line uh, coach uh, on the Ravens team. Uh, black O line coach or just offensive coordinator? I think you mean offensive coordinator. Um, I mean, look, I mean, they, they, we need more black coaches around the NFL. Period. Right. Um, yeah. So yeah, I don't disagree with that comment. Uh, let's see. Couch Ryder says Greg getting a promotion to offensive overlord. <laughs> 
And we got an anonymous tip. Uh, shout out to you. He says, you. will Mr. Jackson run less and pass more in 2022? That is a great question. And if we keep Greg Roman, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Greg Roman, guys, he can't do it. Right. Like, like he keeps talking about he has something in the vault. We keep making the excuse of, oh, well, you know, we need an O line um, to, you know, to, to hold up so he can run these these offenses. He doesn't know how to do it. This is all he knows. He's not even he's not even good in the run game. He can't get it done unless his quarterback can carry the load in the run game. Otherwise, he's just he's ineffective all around. That's why. Yeah, I'll be very disappointed. I'd be very disappointed if they keep him around because, like, to me, that tells me you don't really care about winning. Like, let's just be real. Like, it, it tells me, like, Harbaugh doesn't really care about winning. He's at that point where he just wants to do things his way. Gary Williams yeah. was like this in University of Maryland. Who, who's, uh, I forget who, who's uh, give, uh, giving Jason me terms updates. Huh? Ridley. Ridley, yes, yes, yes. Uh, he keeps giving me uh, uh, terms updates, right? Like, this is the Gary Williams effect, right? After he won... The national championship, he didn't care about winning at that point. He just wanted to do things his way. And yeah. Harbaugh, I think if he if he's doing that, if he's keeping Greg Roman, that's him saying, I just want to do things my way. You don't care about winning. Winning's not your number one priority. You would like to win, but that's not your number one priority. Right. Winning, you, you want to win, you want to do it your way. Yeah, yeah. Whereas, you know, other coaches just want to win. Yeah. Uh, Couch Rider says, think we run it back with Sammy? No. <laughs> <laughs> do you want Sammy back? Like, listen, how many times do we have to see this this player come 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 and go? Sammy Watkins, Des Bryant, Michael Crabtree, TJ Husmanzada, like you know, uh, um, Seth Lee Roberts, Evans. Lee Evans. How many times do we have to see that? And we got another anonymous cash app. Appreciate you. Thank you. Says, will Mister Jackson be more vocal now and later? You know, it's funny because the, the the rumor out there yeah. is that uh, they offered him huge money, uh, a huge contract, and he said no. Uh, so that's about as vocal as you can be. I wouldn't expect him to be vocal publicly. I don't think that's Lamar's style. Uh, so I, I wouldn't expect him to say anything in the media uh, that goes against the, the franchise. But if that story is true, that is as vocal as it gets. Saying, hey, you know what? I know that's everything that I asked you for, but no, because Greg Roman's still here. Listen, I mean, I don't, I don't know if that's the, the reason, but, you know, whatever it is that he's unhappy with, he's saying, no, I'm not signing a contract until this is fixed. Look, if that's what he did, yes, absolutely. Ab- absolutely. And and this is what this is something we always wanted to see Cam Newton do. Right. Especially mm-hmm. later on in his career. Just start saying, you know, start being selfish and say, look, you need to do this and that for me or I'm not re-upping with you. And I hope, I hope this is what Lamar's doing. I hope Lamar's saying, yeah, money's cool, but they ain't enough. I need you to protect me. Two years in a row, I go out with injuries because this O-line ain't protecting me. I'm not doing it again. So make sure you invest in that O-line. You get, you get, you know, get some people in here that are paid and that can get the job done. Uh, honestly, I, I hope he's saying that about uh, Greg Roman too. Like, look, get somebody in here that can, that can help me, you know, be the best best version of me because Greg Roman is just holding me back. And I want to make that clear. All they've done since Lamar has been in the league is hold him back. None of these coaches have helped him grow. Lamar has always been capable of this, right? This, yeah. this, this re option offense that they've been giving him to do. That's not what he came up doing. Yeah. Right. So you are just, yeah, it, it is. It, it really is. So like, they're not, they're not helping him out and he's clearly outgrown this and, the office is limited and he can only do so much with it. So well, and you could see that this year because he, I mean, you, just watching them play, he didn't want to run as much, right? Like he was, he was just not doing it. He's like, I'm not, I'm not running as much as I have in the past. I yeah. think that was a conscious decision on his part. He's like, I don't want to be running this offense anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Here goes E. He says, great woman going to be back. Watch Zay. I've been said this. You say a lot of things. E. Tomorrow you're going to be saying he's gone. <laughs> What's, up, e? What's up, man? Thanks for coming through. <laughs> uh Andre Mir says if he comes back fine, but he if he doesn't fine, Bateman Duvernay and Prochet should get more attention. Tylen Wallace as well. Not enough. Guys, one of those guys should. Listen, one of those guys should. Listen, not enough. We need another don't listen again. 
stop wasting your time with the Sammy Watkins, with the Michael Crabtrees, with the Des Bryant's guys that give you absolutely nothing. All they're doing is taking up a roster spot, right? Um, and snaps. Get yourself a top tier wide receiver. Try to get the best one that you could possibly get, whether it's free agency, whether it's through trade, whether it's through the draft. You have to have overwhelming talent to mitigate the poor coaching. You can't just say, well, coaching sucks. So we're not going to put anything on that side. You know what? Because I can say that about the defense, too. Defense sucks, too. We got poor, co- poor coaching on the, on the defense. You want to you wanna add more defensive players to, to a team that all they do is blitz and get beat? Right? Mm-hmm. They blitz more than any other team, but they also, they also give up the most passing yards. But you want to draft the corner? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, thank you. And shout out to OTR Mike. For the donation, he Thank says, you. the Pick'em Champ is here. Keep killing it, guys. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah.